Hey guys, Pat Tibley here, teaming up today with Griffith College to share some ideas around managing stress and keeping your priorities your priorities. So three simple ideas I wanna share. The first is the idea of the Sunday session. I think it was Abraham Lincoln that said that if he gave him six hours to chop down a tree, he'd spend the first four sharpening his ax. And that's the idea here with the Sunday session. It's about planning the week and getting on top of things before we head into the hecticness of life. So Monday comes and we're into traffic and we're into busyness and we're into commitments and lots going on and it's busy, busy. And so Sunday or whatever day of the week works for you is a great opportunity to sit down and plan the week. The first part of this for me is about reflecting on the week that's just gone by. First looking at what worked really well and acknowledging your wins. Also looking at where you struggled or where you got a little bit stuck and asking the question, what can I learn from this? So as a simple example, if you missed all your gym sessions last week and that was something you wanted to do, the lesson that you learned might have been that you should really do your gym sessions in the morning because you feel more energetic and you're more likely to get it done as opposed to leaving it till later in the day. So we can always learn lessons. When we're planning the week, we're calendaring the things that matter the most. You know, oftentimes we forget to keep the priority the priority and a week can pass by, we're really busy, we've got a lot going on, we feel even overwhelmed, but we don't feel like we've moved forward. So when you think about the areas of life that are most important to you, something like study, as an example, if you wanna study, that's something that has to go in the diary, has to go in the calendar. And on a Sunday, you can sit down and say, maybe Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm gonna do two hours every evening. A course like the courses offered at Griffith College, where they've got blended learning, allows you to work both in the classroom, but also work at your own pace from anywhere. So again, scheduling that time, my study sessions, my gym sessions, my work sessions, whatever it might be, time with friends, but really prioritize the things on a Sunday that you wanna achieve over the coming seven days. So what worked well last week? Where did I struggle? What did I learn from that? And what needs to happen over the next seven days for me to feel like it was really successful? Again, then getting things in the calendar and taking action on those things. Second idea I wanted to share was catching your story. So anytime we're stressed, we're telling ourselves a story in our mind about what's going on. And generally it's a negative story. So I might be telling myself that I'm too busy, I'm too overwhelmed, I don't have time. And what we tend to do is give energy to this story so it gets stronger and stronger and stronger. So it builds more and more in our mind. The example I sometimes use is that if you go to a film set, you'll see a pretty basic conversation happening, two people talking on the film set, behind the camera or in front of the camera, I should say. And then the director takes that conversation and he puts it on the big screen and adds dramatic music and loud sound effects and visuals and makes it a lot more dramatic than it is. Sometimes when we've got a negative story or a stressful story in our mind, we make the situation a lot more dramatic than it actually is. So what we need to do is catch our story, get it on paper, so example, I'm too busy, get that on paper, and then become solution orientated. So try to find solutions to your problem and actually take a small action in that direction to get yourself out of your head, get out of the stress, and get into action moving you forward. Third little idea is to trade expectation for appreciation. So again, anytime we're stressed, we're typically telling ourselves a story about how things should be. If I've got a story about how things should be, I've got the blinkers on and I expect it to look a certain way. That's an expectation. So for example, uh, I expect myself to always be diligent with my study and I can get stressed because sometimes I don't wanna study. So I need to find appreciation for things that I'm doing well. So take off the blinkers and trade expectation for appreciation. So to summarize, plan your Sunday session. What worked last week, what didn't work, and what needs to happen in the next seven days for you to feel like it was a successful week. Second thing, catch your stories. Anytime you're stressed, you've got a negative thought or story happening, get it on paper and become solutions orientated rather than being focused on the problem and letting it grow. Third thing to think about is trade your expectations for appreciation. When you trade your expectations for appreciation, your whole world changes. So I hope these are beneficial. I'll speak to you soon.